All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series, where I sit back and relax with a nice drink in hand and take a look at an interesting indie game that I've found online recently. And for today's episode, as you can probably tell from the screen here, we are having a gander at Parcel, which is being made by Polar Bunny, and it is a sci-fi puzzle game where you control a small team of... I think they're robots, but I gotta admit I'm not 100% sure on this, but a little team of individuals delivering parcels, as the name would imply, uh, by solving puzzles, which seems like a somewhat convoluted way of delivering your post, but hey, apparently that is the dystopic future we will one day be living in, so might as well get practicing now. And uh, so we have this lovely little game, which uh, actually was sent to me by the developers. It is currently in early access on Steam for $9.99. And uh, yeah, when I took a look at it, it looks quite interesting. Because of how the system works, you've got to use each of your different team members, uh, you know, in different ways, because they all have their own individual abilities, uh, very similar to the old Lost Viking games, and I loved those back in the day, because you had to use each of the Vikings' powers that they did a specific thing, like shield block or shoot the bow, etc., to make your way through the levels, and this is a similar concept, except instead of trying to fight your way through levels, you're trying to deliver a box across a level which is kind of an interesting twist, but that's why I kind of like it. Plus, we are in this sort of uh, cyberpunk future, as you've probably guessed by the look of the main menu here. So let's just jump right on in and take a look at what we have. And of course, this being a computer game and me being a fan of options menus, that's where we are heading first. Now, actually, I do have one minor complaint. I had this same complaint last week with that poly race game we did. We're on the main menu here. I can't use my mouse. We are using WASD and spacebar to actually select buttons on here. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, it's a menu. Let me use my mouse. But if we hit spacebar here, we can go into the options menu where we have not a whole lot of controls. Uh, but again, it is in early access, so I can forgive it, the lack of options in here. Now we've got the basic stuff, music, sound effects. Uh, we've got our resolution, graphics quality, which is just generic. It's you know, medium, high, and low, and that's all you got. You can select window mode, disable camera movement, which I'm not entirely, I, I'm guessing the camera moves, but you can turn that off. And this disable story components, which I, it, it, it's checked by default, so I'm leaving it as that, because I don't quite know what it does. Because there is, in this game, it's not just a puzzle game, there is also a whole single player storyline to this. Uh, regarding package delivery. So I, I'm gonna leave this checked for now. We'll, we'll see what that affects in the future. But yeah, that's all we've got. Now this is a 3D game with lots of lights and effects and things like that. So I would like to see some more options in here. But again, early access, it's currently version 0.8.2 something or other. Actually, if we head back, we can see it at the bottom of the menu here. Yes, 0.8.2405, etc. So, yeah, I can forgive a few things here and there. Now, one thing I'm going to point out just right off the bat, because we are here on the menu, and the thing that I'm really happy about, level editor. It is really cool. I've played around with it. I still have yet to be able to successfully build a level, but that's just because of my own ineptitude. But there are already a whole load of people on the Steam Workshop who've made several dozen unique maps to this game. And at this point, this, uh, this game's been out less than a week. I think it came out on the 26th or the 27th of March. And this video should be going up on April 1st, so just a couple of days, and there's already a couple dozen levels that people have built. So that is cool, speaks to the longevity of the game, so that is very nice. We'll check that out later towards the end of the video, so let's just head in to actually play the game. And, uh, well, we've got start game, select level, create different profiles, check progress, etc. And, of course, our current user of Kotobos, so let's just start the game here. And uh, let's, oh, I guess this is where we have this. So either you can just go through the game without a story, 
or turn it on here. We had that option back in the, uh, or that uh, choice back in the options menu, rather. And so, well, let's turn it on, because I haven't done anything with this yet. I've only looked at the level editor, because I didn't want to skip any potential interesting story to sort of show off what this game might have to you guys. Oh, hello, everyone ready in there? Uh, does it need to be this dark? This better be worth it. From a financial standpoint, it is. Okay, so we're delivering a package and we need the money, I guess, probably. If and only if we succeed without loss of personnel. Oh, God, can we die in this? Uh-oh. <laughs> seize the melodrama. Wait, did that say seize? Didn't, shouldn't that have been like cease? Interesting. Okay, I concur whatever that other person just said that I missed. This deployment method is severe violation of our safety regulations. Oh, OSHA would not be happy. <laughs> regulations, regulations, get in there now. There's a job to do. Oh, oh God, I actually am OSHA certified, so this is somewhat disturbing. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, somebody hold my hand, please. Oh, okay. Um, she said hand. Her hand, for that matter. Okay, fair enough. Dot dot dot. Ooh, that was a new person. I hadn't seen their face there before. So we are about to get shot out of an airship. It would appear. In a very, very... F Ooh, we have been shot out of the airship. Oh, and there we go, our four characters for the game. We've all been sent to different levels of the building, which I'm guessing is the tutorial method. We'll get introduced to one character at a time. Oh, oh, we had some text there that got cut off. Intriguing. All right, we appear to be in a level now. We've got the cool 3D graphics. Can anyone hear me? Honestly, I prefer not to. I think I like the blue guy. Or girl, or robot, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, that, that is a good point, green robot guy. So, here's the bad news. I might have miscalculated the dispersal thing a little bit. Yeah, you think? You shot us into four different floors. What I mean to say is that you're all scattered across different areas of the building and we'll need to find each other. That might turn out to be a bit inconvenient. Sorry about that. I don't like you face, well, you have a face, but nameless gray blob thing. All right, the weird clown lady forgives him, I guess. Ooh, who has the box? Anyone? Block? Uh-oh. We must find the box. Uh, I hope this is the boss's thing I ever had to say to you, but we're in the business of delivering things and not shooting shipments through walls and losing... Well, you're the one who shot, so that's your own problem right there, my friend. Okay, so... We need to... I'm guessing we're supposed to be the main yellow guy here who is the uh, voiceless protagonist since all we seem to get from him is dot, dot, dot. Alright, go to the transport beam. It should be look like a yellow beacon of light to you. Okay, excellent. So that's the tutorial. That's, I guess, how we get out of levels. We uh, go towards the beam of light. But yeah, I, I'm liking the difference in graphics. When we first had the uh, cutscene there, I was a little worried because the screenshots I had seen of the game look like what we see now, a very cool sort of industrial sci-fi environment. Uh, but that cutscene was much more... Ah, uh, ooh, God, just like... Bland polygons with some fog out in a airship outline. Uh, but yes, again, early access. Perhaps that uh, intro will get better in the future. But yeah, we use our WASD keys to move around. We do have other key bindings if I hit escape. So you can use your uh, you know uh, gamepad if you do have one. Once we have all the other characters, we can switch with Q and E since I am using the keyboard. WASD to move around. Fast forward with shift. Intriguing. X to cancel, space to action. We can also use the uh, arrow keys, and we have a quick save and quick load function. Oh, that's probably going to get used a lot. That's, oh boy. <laughs> if there's a quick save, quick load function, that means I'm probably going to die at some point. So let's just go into this yellow light. We have been transported, and we must find our parcel, which I'm assuming is that yellow block there in the middle of the map. Okay, that would appear to be it. I found it! Yay! Excellent! Great work! Block Employee of the Month! That y That's you? Okay. Pick the box up by going next to it and pressing space. Okay. 
I seem to have to hold space, not press space. If I let go of the space bar, I let go of the block. So, oh god, we gotta get it through there? Wait, what's this thing down here? Ooh! Oh, what was that? What did I do? Um, wait, what? <laughs> okay, so I guess... Was that like a collectible or something? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, well, let's back up a bit. So I seem to have to get it through here. How in the crap am I going to do that? Greetings, Block. I am aware that you have been the recipient of quite an amount of radio chatter, but I urge you to bear with me for a minute. If you're not in the mood for a conversation and wish to move on, you can skip this and any other information. Well, I need to learn how to play the game, so I kind of need you to tell me things. Maybe make it less long-winded, though? Oh, he actually wants me to press X. Oh, no, no, he's continuing. As you might not know, the service transport beam is not so much a method of transporting as it is a disintegrator and reassembler. Oh, that doesn't sound very healthy. Uh, you can think of it as a human copying machine that destroys the original. Oh, that's happy. If you want, I quite frankly do not. I wouldn't either if I was you. Oh, boy. Notwithstanding the atrocity, your consciousness does exist as bits of data during this morally ambiguous process. I like you, Green Robot. I think me and you are going to be friends. I backed into the feed and uploaded some virtual reality simulations to you to enjoy during your brief moments of inexistence. Oh, that's... That's somewhat depressing and dark. Okay, <laughs> it's mandatory that you go through this process as the simulations are based on preliminary data on what lies ahead in this building. I hope the digital copy of your consciousness enjoys them as much as I enjoyed making them. Fair enough, green guy. Okay, so... Do I just go through or am I supposed to get this box over there? Because with what I have at the moment, I don't seem to be able to get it through. Okay, let's, let's hit the beam. That did nothing. <laughs> okay, well, how are we supposed to get this through, then? Is that where I'm supposed to put it? Can I put it in the corner? Nah, it doesn't do anything. Uh, maybe on this pad where I came in at? And? Nope. Oh, oh, maybe... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I grab it here, no, that doesn't work. I've got to push and pull from E. Oh, what the? Oh, I picked it. How did I pick it up? Oh. <laughs> okay. So if you just hit space bar, you pick up and set down the block. If you hold space bar, you move it around. I think when I originally went to press space bar, I must have held it down for too long and he grabbed it. And that's why it didn't get picked up. Okay, so that that makes my life much easier. All right, into the beam. <laughs> oh, we have this little simulation thing. Okay, so put the block there to block the beam. Anti-intrusion device that patrols a line emitting lasers of in two directions for organic life forms. It's not advisable to touch a said laser. Really? It's not letting me touch the laser. So here's where the box comes in handy. I've already placed the box. I'm skipping this one because that one's pretty obvious. There we go. But yeah, I can't uh, seem to move into the laser beam. So, like, if that thing moves down there... Yeah, I can't walk into it. So it's just a wall, essentially, that's in laser form. That's disappointing. I much rather would have been able to run into it and explode. Times you need to maneuver in a, in a very comp compact space. Turn... Okay, well, that's yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Excellent. Then wait for that thing to go around. Excellent. And off we go. Very good. Moving swiftly forward. Okay, yeah, then I can place and move it. There we are. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, move it, little spider thingy. And in we go. All right, so these laser things are pretty easy to work with. Uh, holding the expanded box, you can also put the box by holding action near it and walking backwards. Okay. Let's let this spider go through here real quick. There we go. Alley oop. Oop, oop, no, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> there we go. All right, this laser thing, pretty nice and self explanatory. Level cleared. Moving forward, we took four times as long as is necessary. So, uh, okay. Okay, so... 
Oh, I thought this was time. <laughs> I just saw the 102 and 3 thing and thought it was time there. But no, no, no. This is the level select. Wow. So that was the intro. I'm, I'm an idiot. And yeah, so let's move on to, I guess, level 1 pickup line. Intriguing name. All right. Let's see what this has in store. So we have the laser. There's a laser robot guarding a hallway. You should be able to block it with the... Yes, yes, we already gathered the path thing. Uh, so, there we go. And then move back a little bit with it. And on our way. Excellent. Continue. So this then should be level two, one would assume. Oh boy, we've got a lot of these things. Uh, oh, okay, we got one of those pickup things over there. Because if you look at it needing a box handling skill, you were just taught. Yes, 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 of course, of course, of course. Why did I move it there? That was, that was, hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to do this. Then this. Then. Huh. <laughs> okay, I, I want to get that collectible thing in there. Oh, screw it. I'll get the collectible thing another time. Let's grab this thing and... Yeah, I'll just replay the levels to get the collectible stuffs. Why did I push that there? Okay, push it forward a bit. There we go. Yeah, I want that white collectible, but oh well. C'est la vie. Let's... Wait for him to go through. There we go. Push, 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 push. Grab this. And... Alright. Laser thing goes pretty well. There we go. Push the robot. That didn't work. That, yeah, that, that didn't work in the slightest. Ha, huh, yeah, I need him to... I need the robot spider thing to be going the other way. Oh, he's going back. Okay, okay. So, I need to put it here. And... Click. Okay, now I can go through. Excellent. Now, I should mention that uh, currently in the game, there are 120 pre-built levels uh, divided into different districts and sectors of the game. Oh, ex executing cleanup sequence, brushing. Hmm. So we have a cleanup bot here. Intriguing. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to pick up and pull this thing a couple of times, like push it into the center area. So yeah, we do have 120 episodes, or uh, levels, at the time being. So that it definitely provides you with a lot of things to do. And as I said, currently there are several dozen uh, levels in the Steam Workshop Creator. And of course, we've got the four characters to do different puzzles with. I'm, I'm wondering, can we go back to the level select and just sort of skip through these? Or do I... Because I'm assuming... Once we finish this one, what's special place? Oh, those are those. Okay, okay. So I'm guessing we're probably going to have... Well, let's see if we go to six and finish it. If we just get sent to the section where we'll find the next character. Because I'd like to sort of play around with them a bit more. Yes, they did ramp up the security in this place. But let's just, uh, pick you up. Oh, nope, he stopped. Then you. Then you. Oh, no, I meant to pick you. Oh, well, now I'm going to have to slide you? Oh, no, because then I'd be running into that other beam. Oh, I'm going to have to do this. Then this. Come on, keep it moving, spider thingy. Okay, yeah, I'm a little confused now. Ha! <laughs> huh. Ha! Huh. Interesting. I'm not 100% sure how to actually finish this one. Because if I go into the path of one of the other things... Oh! 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 Me, me, no, 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 this won't do either. <laughs> Because every time I think I have it, I, I, I don't. I, I don't it at all. Because if... Oh, hello, hello. 
If there is too much, I'm sure you can collect some more of those decryption cubes, aka D cubes, from those fancy special play simulations. Oh, that's a thing. Not that you're a quitter or anything, so I guess that's a way to pass through a level if you can't finish it. That's so that's what those collectible white things were. I didn't pay enough attention to that. Um, but yeah, so I guess you can use those to sort of skip around levels, which I could probably use. But, yeah, I'm just not seeing this at the moment. But yeah, very cool, very competent little platform, or not platforming, but puzzle as to solve here. And I do like that there is a story involved, so let's not ruin too much of the story, I say, to cover my just complete inability to think about how to solve that puzzle at the moment and check out the level editor. Don't want to go for too long, and we already are 20 minutes into this. Now, I've already downloaded one map on here, but you can just go to the downloads and it'll open up the Steam Workshop. And I believe there were 48 maps when I last checked, so... Again, that's just been a couple of days of this game being out, and people have made 48 maps for this, and there's already 120 in the game already. Uh, or over 120, I'm looking at my other monitor to look at all the features for the game, so over 120 uh, puzzles in the game at the moment. And then you have the Steam Workshop, but let's actually go down and open the editor, just to sort of show it off real quick. In-game here, so we get... You know, brought into this lovely little world, we can, uh, you know, select textures on each side of it. So, like, that's the texture on the front. We can then change the texture on the... Ooh, that... Um, hmm. I was looking for top. Can we not change the top? Interesting. We can change the different UV tiling for it. Change the different textures. Very nice that we have those options. Move it around here. You can rotate it with Q and E. And uh, let's see here. Open the inventory with tab to find other pieces. So we have logic, decoration, and light. And if you just hit spacebar on any of these, you can see like this glow plane there. We can place that there, place another there. Backspace to uh, move out of any selection. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it is in early access, so I seem to have slightly broken this a little bit because now it's showing my selector box up here. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> we still could select the point light, but yeah, it wasn't wanting to cooperate. Oh, and we can change the intensity and range, etc., the height, and also the color here. Didn't mention that. And in here, unlike in all the menus, we do have our mouse that we can now use. And we can change all the RGB settings for these things to place the lights down and change all them however you so desire. For decoration, we've got all sorts of things. We've got little industrial parts here, fences, barrels, cables, water tanks, robot arms you can throw in. Uh, backspace. Or, well, let's select that. There you go, fun little robot arm, excellent. Uh, in the decoration, of course, we have all these air ducts, greenhouse, cryo, server, nuclear, VR, and those are your different decoration bits, which is quite nice. Let's see, let's look at some of the servo ones. We've got a little access panel here, there you go, you can uh, place that down, bam. It did not place. Interesting, yeah, I think I broke something. It's not placing these on the ground anymore. <laughs> Oh, early access, folks. Early access. For logic, we have the characters that you can put down. Uh, ooh, which... Okay, so we've got our characters here. Oh, apparently the blue robot guy's name is Porter. Uh, the... Oh, hold on. There we go. The red clown lady was Magna. We got the green guy was Hackman, and you are Block, the one, well, I'm guessing you, because again, the dot, dot, dot thing of the silent protagonist, and there appears to be exits for each individual person. Oh, that would explain why that beaming pad for us was yellow, but you seem to have a different beaming pad for each of the characters, so you have to deliver the block and get everyone back to their specific points, which is interesting. There we go, place that down. And uh, also in logic, we have the enemies. So we have the spider bots, a boom bot, which is intrigue. Oh, that was that uh, little floor cleaner guy we saw on that one level. And uh, yeah, we then have building parts. So we can add floors, walls, laser thingies. Oh, that's enjoyable for everyone. 
Ooh, ooh, God, it's even... Oh, okay, we uh, just I went to build a different one. Intriguing. There we go. And yeah, just a fun little builder that you can make. And all together... Yeah, you can then you know name it, save, publish it to the Steam Workshop, or just keep it for yourself, and or play to test it. Which oh god, this you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So if we head back to the main menu, if you're actually if you actually spend time working on this and figuring it all out, you could make something like this. I just randomly grabbed this one off of the workshop. It's called Steam Garden, and we can go and play this level now and actually take a look at a couple of the other characters which is important to have so we've got the magna lady here with a q and e we can switch between characters so there's the green guy oh god what was his name again uh but i remember reading about the character so this guy's power is he can like teleport places so if it's just one block in between the two he can you know jump about like this uh we then have this guy who's you know, has a big hammer. So we can break this stuff. And so now that this guy over here can uh, jump across this. Oh, what? Why isn't he jumping? I cleared the path. Oh, God, hold on. Maybe he, like, needs to be moved out of the line of sight or something, or... Or it's just broke. <laughs> Early access, folks, once again. Okay, I seem to have all sorts of things that I can break and smash, and he doesn't seem to be wanting to do his job anymore either. If I hit spacebar. Intriguing. Let's go back to Magna here, and she, if you hit spacebar, can pull the block towards you. Why won't this guy teleport anymore? Yeah, I think I've broken something. <laughs> Oh boy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's restart this level and see what happens. Okay, so let's go straight to this guy. Have him break that. Run down. Break that. I'm gonna ooh, there's a thing I can break here. Interesting. I think that was completely pointless to break, but I could break it, so I did. Anything else I can break in here? I mean, it'd be fun. <laughs> okay, let's have her just, like, move this block over here for some reason. I don't know why I am, but I am. Let's do that. Okay, he is teleporting now. Excellent. And... Does he have to do something? I don't know. You! Is there anything else you can smash? No? No? It would appear not. I don't know what else I can smash, so I don't know how I need to actually solve this puzzle. Because it looks like I need that block character, but I don't have him. Which is interesting. Huh. Yeah, because I need to be able to move that block onto this thing to get to her teleport pad. Oh, though, hold on. There are the four teleport pads. So is Block just supposed to be in here, but he's not somewhere? Oh, now I'm real confused. <laughs> Maybe not all of these levels function. For it is the Steam Workshop, so you never know. And again, early access. But I actually think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, yeah, I think it still gives you a fair idea about what all we have in the game here. It's, a, it's very cool. We've got a huge number of puzzles you can solve. It has a story mode. Uh, you have the level editor for making your own and also the Steam Workshop support so you can download more. It, it definitely seems like a very cool little game and uh, for an early access title, it's, it seems to be quite well developed. Again, it is $9.99. If you'd like to check it out, you can follow the link in the description to its Steam page. And honestly, I'd definitely say to give it a go. It's, you know, uh, it's 10 bucks and already there's a crap load of levels for you to play around with and it's still not finished so yes this has been parcel and uh yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video today and of course that you come back for the next whichever or whichever game we may be playing then but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one